In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package badges in order to show these kind of badges on top of a widget. This is the sample app we're going to build where we simply have a list of food items and when we press on the plus button here then the card gets updated as much as we want to and if you click on the card it will just reset it to zero. Let's get started. So as mentioned, this is the Flutter package we're going to use called Batches. Current version is 2.0.2. All you have to do is click on this to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, under your dependencies, just paste it in here and then run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now on the Flutter package website, you can see different examples of the batches you could use. So basically what you have is a widget. And then on top of this widget, you can lay your custom batch or there's also a different batch called chip. This is the difference here. This is a chip and this is a batch. So the difference here is that the chip has some more padding in between the widget. So for example, if you use this shopping cart here, it's better to use the batch than the chip because the cart is already pretty close to the border of the phone. So the chip won't be looking that great. You can also give your batch some different animations. Either it slides from the bottom left to the top right or it will increase its size. The animation type is called scale here and there's another one called fade. At the bottom of the Flutter package website you can see the different properties you can use for your batch. For example if you want to animate or not which is simply a boolean or for example you can define the batch color. So regarding the layout for our app all I did was start with a blank project and here I have a list view of custom widgets. Let me show you this quickly. So we have a list view dot builder. In total we have 10 items and we use the item builder to return a food item widget. And this is my custom widget called food item widget. We need a name, price, icon and item pressed function. So on the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis we have some padding. Then we have a container with some decoration. So some box shadow so that you have this nice effect here so that you see that this item comes out of the layout. Then again we have some vertical padding here and some horizontal padding. Then we have an icon. Then we have a column of two texts, widgets. And then we have the plus button. And the plus button, or in this case it's a container with some decoration to make it circular. And this container is wrapped with a gesture detector. so. It calls the item pressed function which is given through and this item pressed is simply assigned to the food item pressed in our homepage and this simply increases a local variable called card items. It's simply an integer. When the app first starts it's at zero. So as you can see here zero and then regarding our app bar which is now the most important part of this video is concerning our shopping cart up here. So it's basically an icon button and this icon button is wrapped with the batch widget and usually when you don't define a position then you can see that the batch is cropped out. That's why you have to define in this case the position and this means at the top because usually the default values is top equals minus eight. So it is usually further up and the end is defaulted to minus 10. So it's usually further to the right. That's why you have to define your own values here. If you want it to be closer, as you can see here, then we can give an animation type. In this case, it's scaling. So when we press on it, you can see that it goes for a split second very small and then increases in size. And we can give this animation our custom duration time. Then for the content of the batch, we simply have a text widget. And in this text widget, we simply show the card items number. And again, as mentioned, the child of this batch is then our icon button and when the icon button is pressed then we simply set the state so the card items are reset to zero and this icon button has the icon of the shopping cart. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions feel free to ask them down in the comments. 